In tonight's Government Insider, the Service to America medals. It's Public Service Recognition Week, a time to honor civil servants who inspire optimism in sectors throughout our country. This year, by presidential proclamation, it falls between May 1st and May 7th. Once again, it also coincides with the kickoff to the Sammies. Joining me with the latest is Jim Seymour, Director of Programs and Events at the Partnership for Public Service. Jim, let's start with this year's finalists. There are 32 of them. Give us a cross-section. Who's being honored this year? We have a great group of finalists this year. Uh, they were selected from more than 350 nominations that we received. Uh, they come from a wide range of federal agencies, uh, from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NASA, EPA, a uh, great group of folks uh, and range in age, uh, folks that are under 35 and relatively new to government in our call to service category, uh, to folks that have been in government for over 50 years and they just have some tremendous stories that we're excited to learn about and share. Our viewers will meet most of the finalists right here on News Channel 8, so let's talk logistics. What happens between now and September when the Sammies are delivered? Well, we've just announced our finalists, as you said, and we will now share those stories with a prestigious selection committee. We include members of Congress, some corporate CEOs, university presidents, some foundation executives, and those folks get the fun and challenging task of picking the award winners. So this year, excited to have uh, Senator uh, Ron Johnson from Wisconsin, Representative Mark Takano from California. So I mentioned some CEOs, uh, Aetna and Citigroup. Uh, and, and including uh, federal employee unions, the presidents of AFGE and NTU have joined us to help pick the winners. You produce videos for these people that we air on News Channel 8, just remarkable to see the kind of work that they do that we can actually show in video format. This will be the program's 15th year, too. It's a remarkable time for our country. The presidential election is in full swing. Political brinksmanship is boiling. How does that impact the Sammy Awards? You know, uh, we had the breakfast yesterday morning to introduce and congratulate the finalists and many of them just shared how appreciative they were of this recognition. As you say, they get a lot of uh, bad press or a lot of uh, pick, getting picked on in, uh, in political campaigns. And this is really an exciting opportunity to celebrate the great work they do on behalf of our country. You know, it can, we can have reasonable debate about the size of government or the role the government plays, but we really need to give respect to the federal employees that are doing the great work that they're doing on our behalf every day. You know, Jim, government is at a crossroads as the baby boomer generation approaches retirement. Federal agencies are looking to millennials to re-energize public service. That's a big reason this program exists. Tell us more about that. Well, we have, uh, as I mentioned, a call to service category, and these are for federal employees that are under 35. And I'll just give you an example. One of the young ladies in that category is with the U.S. Department of Agriculture, and she's working to help build the next generation of farmers and ranchers in our country. We've seen decades of decline uh, in uh, family-owned uh, farms and ranches, and she's helping to bring together uh, young people from you know, women and veterans and other uh, groups that might be interested in farming and helping pull together resources that can help them, whether it's from the Small Business Administration or the EPA or the IRS, uh, so we can make sure that we have a, a good, steady, safe, reliable food supply for our country. What's different about the Sammies this year? Anything we missed? Uh, you know, every year we look to uh, just celebrate amazing stories and uh, pull together different cabinet secretaries and members of Congress, as I mentioned. It's really special every year that we'll have some really important people that are on stage, but they're not the ones that are getting recognition. They're there to shine the spotlight on the civil servants that really work behind the scenes and in obscurity in a lot of cases. And they're always so humble and passionate about their work. They want to turn the spotlight to, to others and to their team members. Uh, but we're happy to uh, give them that recognition. We'll feature them right here in the weeks and months to come. Jim Seymour, Director of Programs and Events at the Partnership for Public Service. Thanks, Jim. Thank you.